what's going on here well we're going to uh, this is a toilet flange and we're going to change it out this one has been damaged uh, years of use and abuse and this is the PVC saw that I use uh, if you want a PVC saw like this you can go to my Amazon how-to plumbing store and you could purchase it there just as any uh, thing that you see in any of the videos I have you can purchase them at the uh, Amazon how-to plumbing store okay I'm stuffing this paper down there to keep when I start chipping this uh, little wedge out of here I don't want it to go down into the pipe and I notice right away as soon as I start to chip that away it the uh, flange is starting to come out a little too easy and uh, and once I got down there I see why because the uh, flange wasn't actually all the way inside of the pipe itself the pipe was too shallow and too too far down so what we're going to do here when we replace this toilet flange we're going to make a toilet flange that will reach that depth now you can buy toilet flanges that have an extra long neck on it or you could do what I'm going to do in this video and you can make one <coughs> uh, the toilet flanges with the extra long neck are really hard to find so what we're going to do here is I'm going to use just a regular 3 inch coupling and I'm going to extend this uh, closet flange it so happened that a three inch coupling will fit exactly inside a four inch pipe just as a so now you can see here uh, I have the toilet flange in place of course we're going to pull it back up uh, this is not the what we're going to do just wanted to give you guys a view of how far down this four inch PVC pipe is you can see it right there is down too far and that's not far enough to really get a good grip on the uh, toilet flange itself to hold it down And here's the three inch coupling that I mentioned. So we're just going to add that onto the end of this toilet flange to extend it another five to six inches. And this is the uh, this is the glue I use. 
This is a very strong glue. This is red hot blue Christie's glue. Okay, now that right there should fit in the pipe perfectly. Uh, the only other thing we're going to have to do is there's a little knob on here. I guess when they've made it, it kind of... So we're going to we're gonna uh, file this down so it can be nice and smooth because that would be an issue pushing it down into the pipe. You can see here we filed it down. This is something I like to do before I put the toilet flange in place is install the uh, toilet bolts. And in most cases, you get a lot of plumbers that they will use two packages of uh, toilet bolts because they always use that extra nut to uh, tighten it down to the uh, flange and the packages don't come with two, two nuts. But you will find once you tighten this down to the flange itself, it's not going to move and it makes it easier to uh, set the toilet because it's set in place and you don't have that those closet bolts moving around on you. So if this toilet ever has to be lifted up again, uh, the next plumber will not have to fight with those bolts pulling it off and moving all over the place and getting stuck. Now this is going to be a very, very tight fit, which is good. The tighter the better, the much it's going to be sealed really good. Also after I do file that, I file the edges just like here, right here. It kind of gives me that cone shape to help uh, guide the pipe down through and there's no sharp edges to catch it and make it hard to push down this should make it a little easier to uh, push this uh, toilet flange down
Okay, now that's going to fit nice and tight. It's going to be a little stubborn, but we're going to get it in there. And you're going to see why I do like to use the ones with the metal flange because you can't adjust it and you can remove the metal flange around because once you fight to get this in, I mean, it's not no easy way to pull it back up and turn it around to get it to where you need it. But right now, yeah, it's not where I need it, but all I have to do is just turn the uh, metal band, the metal collar itself. Now, if you were to do this with uh, PVC, with a PVC flange that rather than the metal uh, ring itself, this would be much more difficult than uh, what I've done here. And, you, and more than most likely, you'd probably be starting all over, cutting it back out, trying to straighten it back out. This here is a lot easier. Okay, now we've got the toilet back in place. The only thing left to is to caulk it. I'm Claude Taylor. Thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and become a subscriber. Also, if you'd like to know about the new videos coming out, hit that notification bell. Again, thank you.